Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this WordPress for Beginners tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and activate a WordPress plugin. So let's dive into that now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is that our main site just looks like this. It's a blank install of the Aster theme with nothing else going on. And if we want to add some plugins to it, what we would need to do is go over to the dashboard area and then go down to plugins, add new. And here you can search for different plugins in this plugin repository area here. And I'm going to just look for the Astra starter sites. So I already do have the Astra theme installed, which I went through appearance themes, and it's the similar process to this. And here I'm going to install starter sites in the plugin here and activate it. If you wanted to install a theme, it would be the same process. You'd go in here, add new, and search for a theme. But since we're worried about the plugins here, let's go into C library in the plugin section here. I'm just going to click Elementor and hit next. And then it's going to load a bunch of free templates that we can use here when we click the free section. And I'm just going to go and install this one right here. And I'll click Import Site. And it's going to install. So this is going to show you the power that we can have with a WordPress plugin that we just install and activate. So we've already installed the Astro Sites plugin right here. And I already activated it. Now I'm just importing this content. I did this just to show you how powerful it actually can be when using a good plugin for WordPress. So right now it says it's done installing. We can view the site. Instead of clicking view site, I'm going to go right here and just refresh. And we can see what it looks like now on the same domain name. This is what we have here. We would have to fix the contact form up here at the top. And I do have a video about how to do that with WP Forms. If you want to look at that video and check it out, it could help you with adding a contact form. But this basically adds a whole website for us at the click of a button in just a few seconds with a plugin. So I hope this was helpful in just showing you how to do this and how you can use plugins and install plugins very easily and activate them to get your site up and running. There's so many nice plugins out there that are worth installing on websites. You just don't want to go overboard and install more than you need because it can bog down your site. But there's great plugins out there that I highly recommend taking advantage of. And I hope this was helpful at showing you how to get started activating and installing your first plugins on your site. So if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.